What's up, Mishu? For today's video, we're the full Amora Evolution Team. We got Amora and Auroras. They have the ability to refrigerate and snow warning. So two good abilities. They actually really like refrigerate how it turns the normal type moves into an ice type. Uh, snow warning is uh, nice as well. Summoning the hail. Now these Pokemon, oh wow. They have so many weaknesses. Like this Pokemon just gets dumpsed by you know, pretty much everything, you know. I'll be using two Amora and two Auroras on this team. And I did many, many battles uh, with this team. A lot, of, a lot of them were virtually just wipes, you know, like fighting type Pokemon would come in and destroy me, you know, steel types, all that sort of stuff. Uh, first battle here, this is a battle against Forza, and I've got three battles today with the Amora team. Now, this is a double upload day, so earlier on, I did a Tyrant Evolution team, so make sure you check that one out too. And virtually, that's it, people. That's going to be it for all the uh, Evo lines for the fossils. And uh, I might do another... I might do a video on Aerodactyl tomorrow, but that's about it. You know, that's that's pretty much it for all the fossils. I've done absolutely everything I can on them. And yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed the fossil run, uh, but I probably will be doing a special one on Aerodactyl tomorrow. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, anyway, let's get into this battle. We got a Pupitar lead here, and I've got my lead, Amora. We got Aurora Veil, vale, Blizzard, Ancient Power, and Dream Man. Now, the reason I put Dream Man on there in case I Dynamax Amora so I could go for a Psychic type move, obviously, you can see the four times weakness of this team. Uh, max health, max special attack, and modest nature. Uh, now, is anyone's favorite Pokemon actually Amora or Aurora? Say, out of all the Pokemon out there, is there that one person who's like, Aurorus is my favorite Pokemon? Does that person exist out there that watches my videos? I'd love to love to hear from that person, but or maybe it's your maybe it might be someone's favorite fossil. That that could be possible, but being the most favorite po like Pokemon out of all of them, I I don't know, like that'd be that'd be quite a hard one. I feel like it's quite a, a forgettable Pokemon that not many people really, really like, I guess. And uh, it's it's got an interesting design. I don't mind its design and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool. It's got some pretty nice, uh, nice shinies as well. They look pretty, pretty cool. Pardon the pun, but uh, yeah, competitively wise, it's not the greatest. It's due to all of its weakness. So, I say, I don't know whether this Pokemon's going to be in uh, Scarlet and Violet, but I guess if you use the uh, obviously the new mechanic on it, it'll probably be better because it wouldn't have so many weaknesses. I guess. Uh, anyway, income Scepter. That's going to get rid of my first Amora. We're going to go into the second Amora. So unfortunately, this has got Stealth Rocks on the field too, which is always fun when you're using a uh, you know, Aurorus and Amora. So this is the this is the Everlight set. The other one was the Everlight set. If I didn't mention the item, this is also a Snow Warning set. What I did is I did like two snow warning and two refrigerate. Uh, this is a bulky rest, sleep, talk, calm mindset with ancient power. Uh, we got max health, max, uh, max defense, and I've got a bit in special defense too. I think I, I actually gave it sassy too. So I thought I might take the Giga Drain a little bit better than what I did here, but uh, yeah, it didn't happen. Now, my opponent also has a theme team here, I believe. So if you guess what the theme team is, leave it below in the comment section of the video. And yes, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if we can take out this set now. So both my Amoras got wrecked there. Now, I really, really have to get rid of this thing. So the next Pokemon I've got here is my Auroras. Now, this Auroras is the... Oh, this is the... Uh, this is probably my favorite set. This is like the, uh, the physical set. So I've got Rock Polish and Facade. And now I've got Refrigerate. So that's going to give um, a boost... Uh, and turn that into an ice type move and give it a boost by 1.2. And with the Toxic Orb and Facade, it's going to be hitting very, very hard. I've got the Evo Spreaders, Max Attack, Adam Nature, and Max Speed. After a Rock Polish, you know, Auroras is outspeeding uh, a lot of things there. You just have to watch out for, obviously, priority moves and stuff like that. Now, Auroras only just managed to live uh, in that matchup there. And I can get for my Facade off here against the Scepter, but unfortunately, I'm going to faint at the same time. But uh, I thought it was important to give it a go and try and get Rock Polish up. I just, you know, it just hit me very hard there with uh, Scepter's uh, powerful special attack. And, you know, it was more of a sweeping set, not so bulky. So, bye-bye, Auroras. I've got one more Auroras left here, and we're going to be doing another Refrigerate set. So the last Pokemon is going to be Poliwhirl. Now, this Auroras is a Hyper Beam Refrigerate set. Power Web is the item as well. Meteor Beam, Psychic, and Freeze Dry. Now, I really wanted to go for a Freeze Dry, but I seen Poliwhirl, and I was like, yeah, I don't really want to take a Water-type move in, in not in Dynamax, and Poliwhirl's got some nice base speed. Now, Auroras is very, very slow. Uh, the EV spread I gave this particular Auroras was Max Health and Max uh, Special Attack. 
uh, modest nature. So now we got Dynamax Poly uh, Poly World. It's called uh, Blue Friend. Very very nice. I've also got a uh, dive. I, I think I did dive ball Aurora's too. The suit like it's uh it, it, it's blue color. But yes, yeah, so I don't know. I, once again, I don't know whether we'll see the fossils. I don't know. Okay? Sometimes we don't always have fossils in every generation. So I guess if they aren't in Scarlet and Violet, I've given them a really really good send off on that sort of thing. Like I haven't had any. I haven't seen any like confirmations whether they're in the, like, actually going to be in the game or not, stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to get hit by some sort of water type move, whether it's physical or special. I think it was going to do a lot of damage to Aurora's regardless. Uh, the best move I can go for here is going to be Max Rockfall. That's my most powerful move there. It does a lot of damage to the Poliwell, but unfortunately Poliwell is going to be able to live that one. Uh, I'm sure it's got uh, Swift Swim as well, but unfortunately uh, it does have a berry here, and it actually, if you did notice, under, uh, actually outsped me even you know, without the rain up there. So that's pretty much it for the uh, first battle here. Poliwhirl is going to be able to take it. It's coming right out of its little belly there. It's very, very, uh, it's sort of like hypnotic. And uh, he, uh, the Aurorus is going to be fainted there. But it was a pretty close battle. I probably need, I actually need to get a critical hit on that Max Rockfall to take out the Poliwhirl. That was the only way I could have won that battle. Um, if I went for free try, I, I wouldn't even live the first hit. So I had really no choice there. Uh, taking fours off for the battle. Let's get on to uh, battle number two with the Amora team. Uh, next battle here we have... Oh, shit. I thought I was going to sneeze in. Uh, this is against uh, Angelo. And we've got a 4v4 battle here as well. They look like they're in like almost a uh, Christmas sort of... Uh, a Christmas get-up. So first Pokemon is going to be the uh, Snorlax. And uh, Snorlax does have Thick Fast. Like, man, this is a really good matchup here. I hope that it doesn't have it. So I've got the Snow Warning happening with my bulky set. So this set was sort of... Uh, Really, really important because if I could get that Aurora Veil up, I'd be able to tank hits a lot better, you know, due to all of the weaknesses Aurora has, right? I think out of all the Pokemon, Aurora has like the most weaknesses. I'm trying to think on the spot if there's any that do rival it, but without any like modifications, like typing and stuff like that, Aurora has that many weaknesses is not funny. I've actually done a, uh, um, I've done a four times week to steel team before, which I include of Aurora. So I actually probably need to go back and maybe have a look at doing some of those teams again. But I think I've done all the, the all the variations in the past of those teams. I've done every single four times weakness team. So I don't know if there's any left to do, but uh, there may be some new ones uh, that come out in Gen 9 or some other variations that I could possibly do. So Snorlax is going to use Swallow. Um, I think it uses that move a lot, you know, because it likes to eat a lot of food. It probably likes to, you know, chug down a lot of drinks and that sort of thing. So it's going to lose its stockpile boost there, which I guess is good because my moves will be able to actually do some damage. And I'm going to get some extra, uh, you know, damage from the uh, hail as well. So go for Blizzard on the uh, Snorlax. That is really doing not much. I think it definitely is thick fat because this is max special attack. Now this Snorlax is going to have a Leechy Berry and this other move it had is Last Resort. Thank goodness Last Resort is uh, not very effective. I've got the uh, Veil up and I've got the Everlight too because that would be doing like way, way more damage. So my best bet is just to keep going for the Blizzard and I'm slowly getting this Snorlax out in health. So Snorlax is going to go for another stockpile here. I'm guessing they're trying to use like Swallow again and it's, you know stalling out my Aurora Veil too. So that's going to be the end of the uh, the hail and the veil. Hopefully I don't fail. So I go for a blizzard here on the Snorlax and Snorlax manages just to live it here too. Now this might be some sort of theme team here. If you can guess and understand what the theme team is, please let me know in the comment section of the video. I always like to uh, read people's comments. And you know what, if you enjoy the video too, just let me know if you enjoy it. Do you like it? Uh, that's the end of the Snorlax. Now the next Pokemon here is going to be the Morgram. Wait, I think we had a... I believe we had another Morgram today in the earlier uh, video, the Tyrone Evolution team. If I didn't mention that, that was uh, uploaded early on, so you don't get to see Morgram very often. Uh, this is a, a track set, and I'm actually managed to get past here track, which is really cool, and get that Blizzard off. Uh, Blizzard does pretty good damage here. Now Morgram is going to be having the Draining Kiss, so that's going to uh, do some damage, and it's going to get it sustained too. But it's not doing a lot of damage, which is good. But I don't think I can beat Morgram here. I'm infatuated, and you know Blizzard isn't doing lots of damage either. So now I'm going to get infatuated there and the uh, Morgrim is going to go for a draining kiss. That is the end of my uh, Amora there. 
And yeah, Mor uh, Morgrim's going to get most of its health back that uh, I did to it with the uh, Blizzard from earlier on. I, pr I probably needed like a Freeze Axe here or something like that. Then again, I could have been getting infatuated while it's frozen. Next Pokemon is going to be Aurorus, and it's going to go for a fake Tears here. Now, I'm actually kind of curious here. Um, once again, you know, I don't really, I, I never do videos on like leaks and things like that. Um, at this stage of recording, I don't know if they'll actually... I uh, wonder if they're going to keep their hail and stuff in the game, like... Um Sorry, the uh, freeze hacks and stuff like that in the game. Well, they're going to change it up to like the Frostbite from Legends Arceus. So, I don't know. Like, I, I wonder if they're actually going to do that. Uh, so, uh, we got this uh, this, this uh, fake tears. Morgan was actually doing a fair bit of damage here. I th by the by the looks of it, I think they build it like really bulky, and then they relied on fake tears to drop the opponent's special defense and use Drain Kiss for damage and to get their health back at the same time. The good thing is here, I did have this Aurorus, and it was hitting pretty hard with Facade. Next Pokemon to come into the matchup is going to be uh, Goat. And uh, that, that reminds me, Go Goat's going to be back in the game. And uh, that is the Dramper. So go for Facade. That's super effective because that's a now an Ice type move. And that is the end of the Goat. I didn't know I was on the other side of the playing field. So uh, the Aurora is going to take some toxic damage there. I've probably got, you know, one good Facade left in me unless I get out sped. And the last Pokemon is going to be Celesteela. And it's called Megas. Megas. Why would it be called Megas? Maybe it... Maybe it's... Okay, I thought it was a theme team, but maybe I got it wrong. Anyway, so uh, this Celesteela is going to go for a, um, a Power Herb a Meteor Beam. I'm like, man, that's really, really bad. If this thing uh, managed to fight me, which I'm sure it will and outspeed me, it's going to be a big problem. So it's going to go for the Immediate Beam there. That's the end of my Aurorus. And now this is actually going to get a Beast Boost as well. So I'm like, wonder where it's going to get its Beast Boost. I was like, hopefully not a special attack. Hopefully not a special attack. So now it's got a special attack boost and another one from the uh, from the beast boost. I'm like, okay, I really have to do something here. So going into my Amora, I wanted to actually sort of try and trigger a Dynamax here. So I just swapped it in in hopes that they, you know, they'd at least burn up one turn here. What I was going to try and do is I was actually going to try and use my other Auroras to attack this because um, I wasn't sure what speed EVs are running on this either. And obviously, if I get hit by one... You know, steel type move. It is all over uh, Red Rover. So now the uh, Celestia is going to go for a max steel spike. And yeah, I mean, there, there's no way that I was going to be able to live that attacking move. So bye bye, Amora. Uh, that's going to get a defensive boost too, which is bad. However, my last Pokemon is uh, is my Aurorus, right? And that Aurorus is actually a special attacker. So I'm going to bring that in right now. So I'm thinking about this one, like, I have to go Dynamax. There's absolutely nothing I could do. I kind of wish I had, like, um, I kind of wish I had, like, Max Guard, too, because that way I'd be able to get rid of the last turn of uh, Dynamax and, you know, uh, be able to land an attacking move on this Pokemon so it wouldn't, like, take you know, as much damage, you know? What is, like, what is what is that base on? Is it Br off Brachiosaurus? I think it is. Aurorus? Is it off Brachiosaurus? I, I could be wrong about that. Anyway, so that's going to be out of the Megas there. I actually managed to land an attacking move and take it out in one shot, which is very nice. So that's the end of the Salastilla. Um, It actually, you know, it was a very scary Pokemon there being four times super effective with all those beast boosts and stuff on the field. So thank you, Angelo, for the battle there. We're going to go on to battle number three here. This is a battle against Arts, and this is a... Uh, this is definitely a thing team as well, so let me know if you can uh, actually guess this one. So the first Pokemon here is going to be Rotom, uh, Rotom Fridge. Now, Rotom Fridge is going to be immune to the hail uh, on my Amora, but that's okay. I'm, I'm going to set it up anyway. So uh, I've got Ancient Power, which should do pretty well against this team at the same time. Uh, now we got the trick coming from the Rotom fridge here. Uh, Rotom is going to get rid of my Everlight, so it's going to receive my Everlight, and I'm going to get an Iron Ball. So I'm like, okay, that's not all that bad because I was kind of a slow Pokemon, but it's going to make me like way less bulky under the veil. Now the next move the Rotom has got is Substitute. So I'm sort of seeing here that they'll probably have to use Substitute a lot of times in a row, unless I get you know, a couple of Ancient Power Boosts. But even then, I'm not going to be able to outspeed it because I've got this, you know, the freaking Iron Ball. So it's going to effectively be able to stall out my um, Aurora Veil because that's only going to last for five turns, you know, like if I had 
you know, say like an, uh, an extending item or something like that, that would be okay to, to try and do that. Uh, so go for another Ancient Bow here on the uh, on the Rotom Fridge, and it's going to be able to get like two more sub -juice off here. I was like, I'm confident I can live whatever attack it's got. Like, I think I can live like a, you know, a Thunderbolt, and I, if it's got Blizzard, well, I think I can live that one as well, right? So go for another Ancient Bow here on the Rotom. It's got one more sub to go. Imagine your fridge being an engineer, you know, like it could... It could fix itself, you know, say, like, it starts buzzing or, like, the temperature goes high. It could fix itself. It just, you know, its arms pop out from the side. It grabs a screwdriver and, uh, you know, starts working on itself. So, anyway, that is the last turn of the, uh, of the Subtude uh, stalling Rotom here. Obviously, you know, they stalled out the Hail and they stalled out the Veil as well. So, that was a uh, you know, good play getting around that. Uh, now, Rotom is going to go for Pain Spill. I'm like, oh, this is like, what is this here? So, it's got Sub. Pain split and trick. Does it even have an attacking move? Like, what does it even have? So, going for the Ancient Bow here. Ancient Bow just demolishes Rotom in one shot with a critical hit. So, that felt kind of nice getting that. And I've got a boost him on top of that. So, like, wow. If only I didn't have that stupid Iron Ball. Like, this would be quite a threatening Pokemon. So, that's the end of the Rotom there. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be the Raboot. And Raboot is going to go for Endure. So, that's going to be uh, turning into a normal type uh, thanks to the... Uh, you know, Libera ability. It'd be interesting to see whether Cinderace comes back into Gen 9 as well. Uh, so I went for attacking move. It's going to miss there. And Sucker Punch is now going to turn Raboot into a Dark-type Pokemon here. Uh, that doesn't do a lot of damage to Amora. And I just went for Blizzard again. And uh, Blizzard missed, unfortunately. Like, no hail and stuff like that. Uh, now it's going to go for another Sucker Punch. I mean, there wasn't a lot I could do there. I didn't... I could have gone for Aura Veil to try and stall that Sucker Punch. But there's effectively nothing I do. I was sort of, like, hoping to land an attacking move. So I'm going to go into my uh, Aurora set. This is the, uh, the Rock Polish set. Now, I had a little bit of a feeling that... They could try and go for Endure again. And if they do that, I can get a free Rock Polish up here. And then I should be able to outspeed the Reboot and finish it off. I mean, they can go for a, uh, a weak Sucker Punch, which won't do, like, you know, ginormous amounts of damage. And, you know, it'll be pretty good there. So now the Reboot is going to be turning into... A uh, dark type Pokemon, and I was like, wow, that did so much more damage than what I thought, and it turned out to be a critical hit. So that was bad because now my Aurorus, you know, after the toxic damage, is going to be below half health. So I took a lot more damage there than I, you know, I, I expected, you know, from uh, Reboot. Now, the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be uh, Sniper, Stream Sniper. I was like, okay, you tell you, I, I know that's definitely going to be having, uh, you know, Snipe Shot. And Stone Edge does a lot of damage, but it's a Zoroark. I'm like, oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Now, Zoroark is going to go for the Foul Play, which is going to be pretty foul. And Aurorus is going to be fainting to that one. Man, what's with all these Zoroarks lately? I really do want to use this. I'm going to do a Zoroark team. Right? I'm thinking about doing two Zoroarks, a Hisu one and an all one, and trying to troll people, right? Because of the typing, it could be really, really good. Uh, now we've got the uh, Zoroark going for a Swagger, and it's going to be going for... Oh, wait, I I've done this thing. I've actually done this theme team myself. Now, if you can guess what this theme team is, I've actually done it myself. I believe I did this about... I want to say five or six years ago. So it's a very, very early original Pimp My theme team. You know what? If you know what this theme team is, the theme of it, and if you go to the original theme team of this and you leave a comment, I'll give you a little heart and a little comment there. But you have to guess what the theme team is. That's. I wonder how many people uh, uh, will actually know that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to hit myself in confusion, which has totally never happened before. And uh, now we're going to heat more here. So it seems to be a bulky heat more uh, with fire speed. It's not doing like lots of damage to my Mora, but I am confused at the same time, which is, uh, you know, kind of annoying. So I do have the Ancient Power here, which is going to be handy. I'm not really doing tons of damage there, but if I can get like one more boost, that would be you know, pretty handy uh, on the heat more. I like heat more shining. I know it doesn't change too much. I just like the color of the, the red that it gets. Uh, now the Heat more is going to have Flamethrower. So it's got Flamethrower and Fire Spin. That does a lot more damage than Fire Spin. I snap out of Confusion, thank goodness, and manage to get another Ancient Power off. Unfortunately, that's not quite enough to end the uh, Heat more. Uh, but it, you know, it's going to be finished off the next turn there. Like Probably like one more hail. So taking some more damage from the Fire Spin. Bye-bye, Amora. And we've got Aurorus left here in the back.
Uh, yeah, this is my last uh, Aurora for some reason. I, I, I probably could have bought like two, another Amora and Auroras just due to how weak these Pokemon are, but I wanted to keep the four Pokemon challenge like I've been doing for all the other. I do get people asking that question. I just like using one of each, you know, it adds to the challenge. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go for a Meteor Beam here on the Heat more. I want to try and boost my special attack because I won't be able to do that in Dynamax, and I, I, I felt this is a good opportunity to do that right against uh, a Heat more. So finishing off the uh, Heat more there with a Meteor beam that was complete overkill and uh, now we've got two more Pokemon left we've got that Inteleon because that was disguised as Zoroark earlier on and there's one other Pokemon so here out comes the uh out comes the, the, the stream sniper or the sniper here uh, I'm gonna go for a, this is a Desperation Dynamax I'll be real with you uh Aurora so on this I've got uh, I've got Hyper Beam uh, that's gonna be a ice type move so that's sort of out of the question I've also got Meteor Beam too so I can go for a Max Rockfall Quickly and uh, swiftly drop Snowdrew and his cousin on top of it. And that'll put the sand up on the field too. So I think that's going to be the, the, the most handy thing to do. So now the uh, Intellion's interesting enough going to go for Endure here. Now this is very, very good that I went for Max Rob Ball because obviously Intellion will live on one health. However, the sand is going to be able to take it out on one health, which is awesome. So I virtually skipped any damage I would have taken from that... Um, uh, from the Antelion. So interesting what they were doing there with Endure. So I was like, oh, it must be a berry, right? So it's going to be eating a land set berry. So like, ah, oh, I see what they're doing there. So it's like a land set berry snipe shot set, I reckon, that instead of like focus energy. I could be wrong, but that feels like it would be the uh, sort of uh, thing to do there. Last Pokemon's going to be Pangora. It's also shiny as well. I don't get to see uh, shiny Pangora very much. You don't see Pangora too much in general. So this is uh, this is going to be a problem because it's a fighting type Pokemon. Like, wow, I don't know whether I can live a fighting type move here. I mean, I'm four times weak to it. I might be able to live it really badly just due to the sand. And Aurorus has got... A Actually, Aurorus does have a lot of health. I'll, I'll give it that. It does have a lot of health. And with Dynamax, it's got like a lot of health. So I might just be able to live that and try and take Pango. All right. So go for that Max Hailstorm there. Excellent damage to the... Uh, uh, to the Pangoro, and we're going to get that salt falling at the same time as well, you know, which is always good. Now, Pangoro is going to go for a max steel spike. Like, oh no, that's also a super effective move. That does a lot of damage there, but it doesn't quite take me out. Now, the Pangoro is going to get a defensive rise, which is fine. I'm running a special set. I guess they probably didn't know what, uh, wait, no, they, they would have known. So I guess I, they actually won, no, they won the speed tie there. They won the speed tie. So Aurorus is going to fight to a max steel spike, and that's the end of the battle. My poor Aurorus got destroyed there at the end. Hope you enjoyed all three battles of the team. I'll catch you tomorrow for a final fossil team. But it's not it's gonna only be one fossil. It's gonna might be Aerodactyl. Peace out, people.